Hey, Jeff and Sam. Yeah, now this is a very developing situation. We do want to make that clear. So far, Lafayette Police has not confirmed any details about the situation here at SIA. But what we can confirm for you, and I'm going to step out of the frame here, is that there is a heavy police presence on the scene here. There have been several ambulances that have flown by on State Road 38 just behind us here in front of the SIA plant. Uh, there are multiple police agencies that have been responding, and as you can see, they are loaded all across the area here, all the way down State Road 38 down to Interstate 65. There are several agencies, local, state, and federal, involved in this situation. Uh, but currently, as I said, we do not have many confirmed reports. There have been some employees that appear to be exiting the building, uh, but that is all that we tend to know right now. And so we will continue to follow this situation. We will contact Lafayette Police between the 5 and 6 o'clock shows to gather more information. We'll also reach out to SIA to see if they have any additional details to provide. But as we've said, a heavy police presence here at the Subaru Indiana Automotive Plant in Lafayette. And we will continue to follow this situation tonight on News 18 at 6 and all throughout the evening. For now, I'm reporting live in Lafayette. Cameron DeLazio, News 18. Okay, Cameron, thank you. And while Cameron was on the air, we were actually getting texts from Lieutenant uh, Justin Hartman yes. here at the Lafayette Police Department confirming that a uh, shooting has, in fact, taken place at the SIA plant. And I just um, asked him about uh, any further details, number of victims, a suspect, if they are on the run. And he said he had no further information at this moment, but we do know that Cameron de Blasio will be contacting LPD and will have more for us, hopefully later in the newscast, but if not, on News 18 at 6.